Well, thank you very much, Bill, and good morning. Uh, just to lay out what we know about that classified session before the House Intelligence Committee this morning, uh, the former CIA director began with a 20-minute opening statement. It was relatively broad. It did touch on this affair with Paula Broadwell, something he said he very much regretted. In addition, he told the committee members that these talking points that were put together by the CIA Ultimately, they do not know who was responsible for that final version that was given to Ambassador Susan Rice, and this is significant. This pushes the focus over to the administration and the White House as to whether that intelligence, intelligence assessment was somehow massaged, because what we're told from this morning is that it did look different than the initial assessment. Uh, number three is this issue of what the general told Congress that first week after the attack. September September 14th, several lawmakers have told Fox that the general seemed very much wedded to the administration's explanation that it was this anti-Islam video, though today he said he believed it was terrorism from the first day. No, no, no he was saying that there were many streams of intelligence, but he also stated that he thought all along he made it clear that there was significant terrorist involvement. And that is not my recollection of what he told us on September 14th. So the most important data point from this morning is that according to the former CIA director, he believed within the first 24 hours that the Benghazi attack was an act of terrorism. And when you strip away all the discussions of the timelines, what's also clear is that it took the Obama White House more than a week to publicly say that it was terrorism. So you do have this discrepancy. The CIA director saying it was terrorism really right out of the gate, but the White House having this lag of eight days, Bill. All right.